some scientists believe the greatest tobacco control measure of all could be vaping. It's controversial and divisive, and it's sold by cigarette companies, but it could save millions of lives. I think vaping is going to be the greatest invention in terms of health improvement in the history of everything, possibly clean water. The idea behind vaping is to remove the harms associated with the combustion of tobacco while retaining the behavioural aspects of smoking. It's called vaping because what you blow out is water vapour. It's a way of basically taking nicotine in, usually propylene glycol, which is a pretty innocuous um, solvent, and you get the nicotine hit without getting all the burning and all the carcinogenic material that you get when you're smoking a cigarette. In 2014, Professor David Nutt and a team of international experts conducted a review to estimate vaping harms. They concluded that vaping is around 95% safer than cigarette smoking. But some experts say it's much too early to give vaping a clean bill of health. In its purest form, you would be inhaling essentially water and nicotine. But that's not what happens, of course. There's all kinds of chemicals created, present in the liquids themselves. And just like with cigarettes, it's the basting your lungs multiple, multiple times a day for many, many years. You're depositing that material in your, in your sort of delicate lung tissue. And we don't know what those health impacts are going to be 20, 30 years down the line. Over the last two decades, vaping has seen an astonishing rise, particularly in the youth market. Mango, uh, the other one's raspberry. And... It's never going to be healthy to inhale mango and to inhale creme brulee and to inhale menthol and mint and the thousand other compounds that are being sold through vaping shops, you know, whether that's unicorn spew or cotton candy flavor. Uh, I mean, there's literally uh, thousands of these compounds being inhaled by kids. The problem is that most people who use e-cigarettes keep smoking. Most people who go on to use e-cigarettes use both products, so it traps them in smoking. And then for youth who start out using e-cigarettes, they go on to use tobacco products as well. And those youth may have never have gone on to smoke at all. So we have known now for 50 years that people smoke for the nicotine, but they're killed either by the tar or by the carbon monoxide. Vaping is almost certainly not completely free of harms. There will be a few people who probably don't do well, but it's still a much less harmful form of smoking.